Hello friends, how are you? This is Jitendra Khanwant again, and in today's video, I will be talking about Python CBA 25 shift morning question. Okay, so let me uh, show you how I I have solved the question. So here is the code which I have solved class container, and it's fully running. Okay, so as you can see, I have just provided the input which uh, uh, TCS gave. So this is the input and the output which I get uh, give successfully executed. Let me run it again, so that uh, you can see that it's successfully running. And you can, as you can see, successfully executed. And the time is this, and the no container found. And uh, this is the sample test case. And I will, I can show you here. Let me uh, just move ahead with the. Today's session and yeah, guys, this question was asked on Python C Python and this is twenty fifth Feb. Okay, twenty fifth Feb. Uh, that means today and the shift mo the shift was morning and also afternoon sh uh, session will be there. So how much you can get? How much you can earn? Sixty k or forty k? This just free okay so you just have to solve the questions at python mcqs and you can get 60k or 40k for free okay so let's move ahead so what was the python program to do Cra create class container with attributes so first we have to create a class container with attributes id of type number id which is integer length height and price per square feet of type numbers okay so after that okay create the constructor init method which takes parameter in above sequence for id dot length breadth comma height and pri price per square feet this is the co constructor which are uh, these these are the constructors okay wait a, wait a minute yeah so create the constructor init method which takes parameter in above sequence so what are the sequence these are the sequence which we have to take the constructor init method breadth height and price per square feet okay all these four parameters will be in init method and after that which which will set the value passed as argument to the attributes of the container okay create a method in this we have to create another method find volume okay so this is the method which we have to create this method will calculate the volume of the container that means like uh, this is the container this is the length and length breadth and then height okay so suppose this is the container which we of which we have to create the volume but we have to create uh, but we have to calculate the volume of the container as length breadth height and return return the volume okay so let's move ahead then then we have to create the second class packaging company uh, what's what is the class packaging company what are the attributes you are going to contain in that class the attributes will be container list a list of container objects create the constructor it is also we have to create a init method this is the first init method which take the self as the first parameter Okay, as per a list of container object method will set the values. Okay, uh, this is the. Okay, so uh, there are there might be some misspelled. Okay, the value passed as argument to the attribute. Okay, so what method we have to define? First method will be find container cost, and the second method will be find largest container. So these two method will be we will have to create in this class also. There are also two methods in this class. This method will take argument a number representing the ID ID of the container. This uh, uh, method will be representing of the object and will find the cost of the container object. This method will, uh, as the name is suggesting, will help us find the container cost from the container list of the packaging company. We uh, we will pass the container list uh, of the packaging company whose ID is equal to the input ID passed as argument. So we have to uh, we have to like calculate and like. Uh, compare okay so the word is we have to compare uh, the input id so that we can calculate the uh, container cost the method will return the cost of the container calculated as volume of container multiplied by price, by price per square feet so these will be the two uh, these two methods uh, these two parameters will be passed here and these two parameters will help us find the cost of the container if container having the id value passed as argument is not found in the container list returns none assume no container so all the ids are distinct so as this is saying all the ids are distinct and if the if container is not found what we will return return none after that we have to create uh, we have to go to the second method find largest container in this we have to find the name is suggesting we have to find the largest container with the largest volume the container is having this method will find the container having the largest volume from the container list of the packaging company and return the container object assume now 
more than one container will have the largest volume so also here volume will be volume will be distinct okay so the name is suggesting volume will be distinct these methods should be called from the main section okay so what are the uh, methods to write the main section of the code instruction to define main fun main function you would re require to write the main section completely so we have to write the main section completely as we as i have told in previous two videos we have to write the main section completely hence please follow the below instruction for the same you would require to write the main section completely hence please okay these two lines are same sorry okay you would require to again say you would require to write the main below and read the data in the same sequence program which is in line to the sample input description section mentioned create the respective and project object we have to create object of container and packaging company with the given sequence of arguments to fulfill the init method so first we will we have we will have to create a list and then we will provide the packaging company to object to be created to create a list read a number so for creating a list so what we are doing here we are creating a list and what uh, what this list is doing reading a number from the count of container so it is reading a number so first is number okay so first is reading a number after that object to be created and referring to the below instruction create a list of container object which will be provided to the packaging company and okay blah 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 read a number from the count of container we have to read and so on okay so let's move ahead of these are the test cases so first case test case is no container found and the te second test case is 6512 as you can see that here is a space in between this so how we you will create uh, how will you will uh, say that uh, here is a space uh, because when we uh, write a loop in for loop in the python our number will be printed like 105 and then 512 but these are, will not be in the same line as it is here so i will tell you the method how you can uh, print up uh, print two lines in a single line or uh, in the for loop okay so let's move ahead the, to the code uh, here is the code so as i have uh, as i have discussed we have to create a first class container which is a def uh, in which we have to first made a init method and first parameter should be self and the id we have to pass length breadth height lbh is length breadth height and price per square feet and we can, this is how we can this is how we can store these values in this uh, method so after that we have to create another method find volume which will help us in finding the volume and this will return the volume self dot l dot uh, into self dot b uh, into self dot add height okay so after that we have to create another class which is packaging company what is the packaging packaging company is doing packaging company will help in uh, create a method in it in which we will pass the container list as i have discussed in the pre, uh, in the question uh, we have to create a init method in which we have to pass the pass the container list and this is how we will uh, store the container list in the method and after that we will, uh, we have to create two another methods first one is find container cost and the second one is find largest container so for for find container cost what we have to do self dot input id input id we have to compare with the container id so that we can find the uh, container cost if this id is matched with the id in the container list so what we will do we will call the find volume and we will get the volume after that how we will calculate the cost cost equals to call call what is called the volume volume into price per square feet this is how we will calculate the cost of any container like we are having the volume of the container which uh, with which we will multiply the price per square feet uh, because of that we will get the cost of the container so if this is not the uh, we will not find the id then we will what we will return none so we, we will have to return none after that define for, find like uh, what we have to define the method find largest container which will par take the parameter self in this we will create a re uh, result list okay for i in dot self dot container list call i dot find to volume so this is how we will find the volume and result dot append call we will append the call what, what is the call this is the call is the volume so we will append the volume in the list okay suppose this is the list and this is the volume of first volume uh, 
here we uh, we have appended the volume of the first container after that we uh, we will move to the next pointer and this is uh, again add the container volume of the second container this is how we will add the container of our different different vol uh, volumes of the container after that we will find the with the help of max we will find the maximum volume of the container the max function what max function will do max function uh, will help us find in, uh, find the maximum volume from the list suppose this is the list 1 2 3 4 5 6 is the volume of the container so what max function will do uh, fetch the 6 fetch the 6 and will store in the maximum okay so this is a set result to list what result to list is doing for i dot self dot connect call call this and maximum we will append it okay so now we will do the uh, we will go to the main function what's the main function how we will define it if under double underscore name double underscore double equal to double quotes double underscore main okay so this is a double underscore double double a lot of double okay so after that maximum uh, we have to find uh, take the input container list uh, this is the maximum time the other loop is going to run id is id length breadth and height as i have told you price per square feet and this is how x equals to container uh, calling the container and this is the these are the volumes uh these are the values sorry a container list dot append x x is the these values and these values will be appended in the container list which we have defined it above after that input id is equals to id which we have to take the input and we will have to compare according to that id we will have to find the container volume and the container cost and the fi find the largest container volume so this is again the we have created the we have created the object of the method first we have created the object of the class after that we have created the object of the method with the help of that class okay so this is how we if container is not found then we will print no container found and as i have told you for i range length result 2 and then what is and equals double and equals to space so what is this doing this will help you print these value like this if i do not do uh write this method suppose so what will happen so we will not get the result according to the question according to the sample output which we have which we have been provided so this is how we will get 105 uh enter 512 so we will have to get the answer in the format which you, they have prescribed so what is the that and equals to call uh, quotes and space and then we will it again run it again and so what we will get we will get it this so uh 5105 i hope guys you got the answer you got how to write the code okay thank you guys for watching this video Please like it, share it and subscribe my channel and please help me uh, in writing, in encouraging me so that I will make the video like this again and again. And thank you guys for watching this video. Please share with your friends and best of luck the, for afternoon session who are going to give the CPA. I hope this will also help you for Python. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video.